Hello everyone, welcome to EliteWithDeskFocus.com YouTube channel. My name is Henry and today is Friday, May 15. The time is around 3.30 a.m. GMT. So today we'll be <coughs> looking at the chart of the pound. This is pound dollars 30 minutes chart. Uh, okay, so what, what we can see right here is the pound is in some sort of five waves down here. Uh, in which we ended with one here in the black this is your wave 2 here uh, so that means we are now in the wave 3 and as you know wave 3 is uh, going to be subdivided in another 5 waves uh, and we can see right here this 1 in blue 2 in blue 3 in blue okay uh, this is 4 in blue and now uh, we are in the process of ending 5 in blue which is going to end the three in black after we finish the entire uh, five ways down okay so that means we still gonna see uh, some more downside now this could be your one of five here and now it's already in the two of five all right or like this so uh, we are now in the process of ending a five ways down from here and then after that uh, we can bounce and then continue to see uh, for the downside okay uh, so that's the idea so that there therefore uh favoring for the downside overall uh, now let's take a look at the larger degree time frame to get some context as well as uh talk about the alternates as always um, we need to look at always the alternates right uh, a lot of people think it is only one way uh, and there is no other way but obviously if we trade long enough we know that uh, all this uh, technical analysis, technical tools is giving us an edge uh, in terms of probability and combined with the risk management, that's the way uh, you know a, a trader should always approach uh, regarding trades, right? So let's take a look at here at the larger degree time frame. If I zoom out to the 4-hour chart, uh, this is not really, this is without labels, but just to give you a context. So if I'm putting this one into in black to the 4-hour, right, so this is the the place here one and two so so what do we have here so if you take a look at it from this high which is the uh, April 15 high okay so you have uh, we got one and two here so since we are calling this as some sort of a, uh, a five ways down from here that means the five ways down starts from here right so this is your wave one this is your wave two and so that means this is the uh, the higher degree labels it can either be let's say uh, let's put it in the red label it can either be an a or it can be a one right it can be an a or it can be a one and this can be a b or this can be a two uh, so that means we are either in the with c or we are in the with three right <coughs> now um okay so suppose um the the if you look at the extension right now from the April 15 now you find out that we in fact have reached uh, you know the hundred percent right we in fact has reached the hundred percent uh, so therefore if this turns out to be some sort of correct corrective structure right if this turns out to be some sort of corrective structure then uh, in fact um, we won't get for the continuation of the downside so you can uh, change the labeling in that case you can uh, you can for example instead of calling a01 here uh, maybe this is a w let's say uh, and then you place this subdivision let's say abc okay and then this is an x if that's the case and then uh, you have a another abc as the subdivision uh, in the y okay and then that will complete this entire correction which is possible right so the alternate here suggests that um, we may be finished and then in the cycle we, we may complete the cycle and then starts to bounce even going to new high or bounce in three waves at least if this is in fact a corrective structure uh, instead of a new uh, you know impulsive move on the downside so but if this is one to one two is correct then we could continue to see further downside here in the pound dollars all right so that's the idea here um, and you can draw this channel 
okay you can draw this channel here so as long as we stay within this channel or even accelerate on the downside uh, that is good from the from the bearish view but if the pound starts to break out and close above this descending channel here then that that can tell us that perhaps this is not one to one to as we expect and perhaps this can become uh, some other structure it can become a corrective structure even uh, and uh, like I mentioned it could be a WXY and then bouncing and so on alright so that's the idea but for now as far as we stay below this two in black here uh, again we are looking for for the downside uh, within the wave 3 and should continue to see for the downside if it is a 5 ways down okay so that's the update for uh, today and uh, the uh, this week we give a lot of the indices as the chart of the day from Monday all the way to Thursday so I think those uh, indices uh, chart of the day has been playing out very very nicely if anybody was uh, you know trying to buy at the blue box uh, in the past few days then that that works out very well at least we do get a bounce from that blue box uh, that we mentioned uh, yesterday and uh, from the you know from the Russell and also from the Dow and so on so I'll see you all again next week and as always if you want to uh, try our service feel free to um, visit our site we have 14 days free trial uh, and the link is provided in the description of the video below. So see you all again next week. Have a nice weekend, everyone.